All right, hello guys. So um, <clears throat> it's been a little bit of a delay since the last time I did uh, uh, the other stream, just like before, unfortunately. Uh, I've been getting a little bit of a, more of a handle on uh, uh, 5.4 and been looking at some of the things that they've changed. And some of them are really helpful. Some of them, um, you know, they, they might be a little off from the way 5.3 and prior were set up. Um, but um, I do like the, the progress. And um, what we're going to do today is continue on with the last stream and actually add other animations than the default ones that come with the uh, with the template and um, mainly that was just uh, your regular idle and walking so we're going to add additional ones <clears throat> so what I intend on uh, having it a, a result for today is uh, I'm just going to show you my my little test uh, uh, project here and uh, once this opens up So uh, we're going to end up with uh, something like this. You know, the player can walk already and do the, its idle thing, but we're going to add the uh, crouching and uh, there's a there's a crouching blend, st blend space, right? So um, we're going to go about and do that. Um, there's also some issues. I could not figure out why uh, why this is happening. Um, where whereas when we, when we go back, it's um, um, maybe I just. Uh, put in a speed wrong, but um, so uh, we'll, we'll set up this this um, this uh, thing today, and um, in the next stream we'll move on and uh, go a little bit into physics, which I think changed a little bit more than um, than what it was before. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, so we have our stream example. Let's uh, look open this up in Explorer and go to our solution. So uh, there we go. Firing up the solution here. Okay. The one thing, one thing that I, I do like about it is, um, and from what I've noticed, there's no need to um, touch on um, your default profile. So the XML file that you would add the actions, which I think it's uh, it's actually yeah, the way to move forward. You know, you don't want to deal with all these text files. So uh, let's um, let's take a quick look at this. All right. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to add our uh, crouching action, right? So we'll just look at some of these down here, and we'll copy one of them. So I'll just make sure that we add a little bit of a comment and crouching. So this is going to be crouch and uh, the input flag will name this as well as crouch and bind the action crouch we got keyboard mouse and then this one we'll just look for keyboard C uh, so to do these this auto populate thing or I uh, just press control space so there's a C in here, so let's do that one. All right, so that should be it for um, our need to, um, to track this, uh, this uh, crouching key. So um, if you remember from the last time we did this in 5.3, we had some states you know, to, to help us track if it's, or if it's in a, a crouching, standing, or crouching, moving, standing, moving. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add those in to our player header file. <clears throat> so let's uh, put that. We'll put him. I'll put him um, right above um, class definition here. So this is just going to be the, our our enum from last time. So enum and uh, we named it play, player state, and we got a few in there. So uh, it's, I'm trying to keep in with the naming from last time. Okay, so this was, we started with none. And then uh, we got uh, E player state standing. Then uh, E 
declare a state. So we'll call this moving to crouching. Crouching. All right. Then um, we had crouching. So declare state. Crouching. Then um, the player state moving to, uh, and this was actually standing here. I've kind of put them out of place a little bit. So standing, moving to crouching, and then uh, we also had the jumping. So we'll, we won't get to it today, but um, hopefully within the next stream or so. And then jumping, and uh, just uh, kind of a closing value class. Okay, so um, we have the states. The one thing that we also need to do is um, actually create a variable here that's going to track this these states. So let's add them uh, somewhere down here. Um, we can use this protected, uh, like what we placed the, the previous fragments. So I'm going to probably put it right here. So this is going to be uh, uh, e player state, and um, we'll call this uh, thing we called it m state last time. Okay. Uh, so we have the states. Uh, the other thing that we need to do since we're here, uh, let's also add our uh, crouching fragment IDs. So we have the uh, the uh, idle and we have the walk. So let's add the crouching idle and the crouching walk ID. So we'll do fragment ID M underscore. And so we'll do crouch um, idle ID. They're not very in sync kind of naming, but uh, Fragment ID and M underscore, but I mean let's let's do it. So let's uh, actually end them with fragment ID like that and M underscore crouch walk fragment ID. They're a little long, but we only do them do them once. All right, so we have that um, and. Um, Let's see, I believe that's going to be it. The one thing that I did run into and I was kind of um, trying to figure out what was needed is that in player.cpp, and let's see, what is this red squiggle about? Uh, hopefully it's just uh, IntelliSense that's throwing a fit. Oh, no, um, so I forgot to add this. Um, crouching to our um, input flags. So as you can see we have the input flag move left, right, forward, back, but we also need crouch. So let's add that in to here. So we have crouch plus one and just follow four, I mean three with four. There we go. Okay so now we have actually crouch that's going to register an action and uh, so as I was saying the thing I was running into was that um, and let's go back here um, where the update animation happens there's this if statement so um, the um, desire fragment ID already gets initialized with uh, a condition of if it's walking or if it's idle so I did not really want that because you know we're gonna have more than more than just these two conditions. So what I did was in player.h I've also added a um, right here fragment ID of m underscore desired fragment. Because this is what the animation is gonna change to. So, first things first, um, we've, we have the states in place. So, let's actually make sure that um, we 
we can use those in our update movement request. So in player.cpp, currently, let's see, where is that? It should be somewhere around here. Da, 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 animation. There we go. So an update movement request, this is you know our how fast our character is actually going to move on the ground. So currently we have a constant float move speed of 20.5F. Um, what I had to add to this was another constant float, and this is going to be crouch speed. And um, we'll, we'll see how this, um, uh, what works best for this. Um, but I've placed this at about um, a third of, uh, so let's Let's put it at 13.0f. Okay. Um, so remember that we've added those states, right? Well, we're, we're going to try and make use of them. First of all, we want to make sure that uh, whenever we enter game mode, so there's going to be an initialized function here at the top. We want to make sure that the, our player is in standing mode. So in order to do that, let's see. I've placed this... Um, I think we can probably place it somewhere at the bottom down here. So it's going to be m underscore state equals to e player state, and this is going to be standing. And let's see, I thought I did add standing there. Did I just skip it? Let's see. No, we have it in here. EPS and standing. There we go. There was, a, I guess, an EPS signature in there. So we started this off as a standing state. And now we need to move down to our update movement request and make sure that we make use of these states. Because we, we're not, we don't care about, uh, we, we need to know if it's, you know, crouching or if it's, uh, if it's standing, you know, if it's moving while it's standing or moving while it's crouching. So, you know, we know how to set the crouch speed or the move speed. All right. All right. So let me just open here. Okay. So first of all, um, what we need to, to check for if we have our crouch button pressed. So we're just going to copy one of these lines here since it's already in there for us. And this is going to be crouch. So if we press crouch, then, um, and we don't need the uh, squirrely braces, we're only going to do one line here. So m underscore state is going to be e p s crouching. Else, if that button is not pressed, our m underscore state state is going to be equal to EPS, you guessed it, standing. There we go. So now, for each one of these, we want to make sure that if we're moving left, hey, Oscar, I think it's the root bone, bone speed. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly where that, uh, where that speed is coming from. It's something that it was just in there. There was no comment on this, so I kind of, took it as it was. All right, but yeah, good good question. Thanks for asking. Okay, so um, we're just going to have a, uh, some if statements in here. That is if m underscore state equals EPS crouching, then we'll do our move speed. It's going to be crouch speed. And else it means that we're probably moving. The other thing that we need to make sure in here, <clears throat> and I almost forgot, is that if we're crouching, then our new state is going to be moving while crouching. So m underscore state equals m, uh, actually, sorry, e p s moving to crouching. All right, so else, we'll just copy this. 
our state is going to be moving to standing. And this instead is going to be move speed. All right. So now we're just going to repeat the same for all these other ones. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, that's uh, that's right, Oscar. Oscar mentioned that uh, just in distance per second, so you can multiply for the delta seconds between frames. Thank you, Oscar. Okay, so uh, let's see, where do we leave off? Uh, okay, so we got to do move right, and move right is just going to be basically along the same lines. So we'll do this, paste it in here, and the velocity is going to be, uh, actually, you know, um, come to think of it, um, all these are going to be the same. It's only the direction that's going to be um, so that you got to be careful with. And then the state is going to be moving to crouching. And else, now this is just a little bit of a tedious kind of thing here, so bear with me for just a minute. So this is going to be move speed and moving to standing. All right, and then we do the same thing down here. If this, crouch speed. else and this is move speed and last one almost there if Crouching, we have velocity dot y, crouch speed, else, and last thing, and it's going to be move speed. Okay, so, um, one thing that we're going to do is we're going to try and compile this and see if we actually get a, a change in our in our speed, right? So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, everything goes uh, according to plan. We didn't miss anything. All right, so let's start up our string mixamo in 5.4. open our sample level and see what mess we have. So right now we're, uh, I'm not sure if you can notice, so uh, we're walking. If you look at the grid and then you can see that we're slowing down and slowing down and slowing down while I'm pressing the, 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 the C key, the, the crouch key. And um, you know looking at this it, it feels that um, at least for my character, the, the move speed was a little too big. So I'm going to tone this to maybe a 15.0 and make this a 10 maybe. Okay, but right now there's nothing happening. There's no animations, right? I mean, because we want to play C, we want to see the player crouching, right? So let's, um, let's look into the uh, update animation part. And I believe that was down here. There we go. Okay, so this is going to rely on our states and because uh, you know that's why we're using those states so um, let's go ahead and um, the one thing that uh, like I said I, earlier that I was running into was this issue with this desired fragment ID that was already declared here so I had to declare it in the header file that's why I put it in there so this way I'm going to be able to comment this part out and now I'm going to do a quick switch statement 
to, uh, to look at the states. So it's going to be a switch, and this is going to care about m underscore state. Okay. So let's do our cases. So uh, case one is going to be, um, let's start off with uh, eps underscore moving to crouching, right? We'll, we'll call it that. And uh, if that's happening, then our desired fragment, and uh, did I forget to name it desired fragment ID? I think I did. Yeah, let's call it desired fragment ID. That's that way, you know, have a, be a little bit more consistent. So desired fragment ID is going to be, and this is, I think, um, um, I'm missing the, actually assigning these fragment IDs in animation. So I'm just going to write this down here for now and uh, we'll go and declare it. So M crouch. No, actually we didn't. We did create them. Okay, cool. The only thing I, I don't think we did, and let's not forget about the break. The one thing I, I don't think we did is um, where these are created. And let's see, where was that happening? Right here. Uh, we didn't get the fragment ID for that uh, crouch. So let's add them in here before we forget. So this is going to be M crouch auto fragment ID equals M P animation component. Just like before, get fragment ID. And uh, this is going to be crouch idle. All right, and then we have the walking, so m crouch walk ID oh, equals m underscore the animation component, get fragment ID, and this is going to be, we'll name this crouch walk. And we'll, we'll add these in the mannequin. All righty, so now that we have these added in, Let's go ahead and take care of our states for the animations. And um, so we have first case, which is move into crouching. Then let's do the next case, which um, is going to be uh, moving to standing, I guess. PS. And uh, let's, let's do moving to standing. So if we have this case, then our cam underscore desired fragment ID equals to m underscore, and this is going to be our walk tag ID or walk fragment ID. There we go. And case eps underscore, and so let's do standing. Oops, kind of used to doing equals. M underscore desired fragment ID equals M underscore, and this is standing, so it's going to be our auto fragment ID. And then the last case, at least for today, EPS underscore crouching. So this is going to be M underscore desired fragment ID equals M underscore crouch idle fragment ID. Uh, looking at these, you know, they do sound a little, kind of a kind of long-winded, long names for these. All right, so um, and let's let's add the default in here as well. So default, right? Okay. Um, so now we have a little issue down here, and. Um, Let's make sure that we take care of that as well. Uh, I'm also looking on my uh, test project because I uh, I did name this desired fragment ID. I, I gave it a value, and I believe it's somewhere in initialize. Uh, let me see. Trying to figure out where I've, where have I given the, so the break in here. 
the starting um, fragment ID. Where have I initialized that? So, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it's uh, just um, <laughs> like uh, the first thing I thought was, oh, this is this is definitely something wrong, and uh, it was just that um, the way the template had it named was desired fragment ID, and I named it to M desired fragment ID. So yeah, uh, thank you, Oscar. <laughs> okay. Uh, so with that said, I think we can uh, try and go ahead and see, see a bit about testing this real quick. So compile this. Let's go into the engine. So let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious. Right now, nothing happens, which is horrible and terrifying. All right, so let's go ahead and our tools, animation, and mannequin editor. So let's open our preview setup, which is fair.xml. So currently, we have an idle and a walk, which we might need to change. So let's. Uh, First of all, I'm going to add the, the new uh, fragments to this. So the new ID this is going to be uh, crouch idle. And OK. And to this one, let's add our animations. Yeah, um, the one thing that kind of bugs me is that um, there are still some issues with the um, with some of this interface. I mean, whenever you open it up, um, they're kind of this window is maximized. These windows you have to pull open, and uh, it's kind of a nuisance. I mean, not not anything big, but you know. All right, so crouch idle, and I believe this was the one that we can use, and we want we want to, to make this looping. And let's just take a quick peek at it and see if this is the proper one. Looks like it is. All right, and um, let's also add our um, crouch walk. So crouch walk. And this, let's do this fragment here. So we'll do this one, we'll add a padding layer. And it's crouch strafe. Yeah, um, you're right. Uh, Oscar mentioned that uh, it might be uh, still the QT code from before, and it looks like it is. Uh, hopefully, they'll, uh, they'll fix it. Okay, so uh, we use our blend space that we made in in prior videos uh, for the crouch for this one. All right, and this is going to be so we can make this as looping. And let's go ahead and save the changes. This is this is another issue that I mentioned last time is that whenever I hit save, uh, nothing really happens. Uh, there's like the window is unresponsive, and it's waiting for that save pop up to show up. Uh, what I did notice is that. Um, at least in some of my tests, was tests that um, it did kind of take the changes, but like I said, it's uh, a little off. Okay, so right now nothing is happening. Let's uh, let's take a look and see what's going on there. We're only having the guy that's sitting in idle. So let's take a quick peek at our code here. So we have our M walk fragment ID. And uh, that's looking for, uh, let's see, where were we? Da, 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 da. Idle and walk. 
in the crouch idle and crouch walk. I have not tried to see. So it's still moving properly, but only the idle fragment is playing. So let's take a look at that issue. Um, Da -da. Uh, let's see, one thing that I do want to do in here is um, uh, da -da -da -da. So tag ID, let's comment this one out because this rotate tag ID I'm not using so um, or at least for this character there's no there's none of that tag ID in there Alright, so this is turning. We can still keep that in there. So let's try this. Let's see if uh, this helps. So let's build. So now it's working just fine. It's just that uh, apparently um, the um, the tag ID being used <laughs> is um, for the crouching is or for the idle is also crouching. So let's take a look and see what uh, what else can we figure out. What else have we? Uh, have we missed? Alright, so I'm wondering if there's anything else in here that we're missing. So we're setting the active fragment ID to that. Oh, so I did miss a couple of break statements in here. And that might have caused some issues as well. So let's see what's going on with it now. So, guy is in good position. It seems to be doing his thing here blend spaces seem to be working just fine it's going into crouch mode if it if it's just a crouching idle it goes into crouching idle uh, one thing that um, I need to figure out is that once it walks you'll notice that there's a little slide a little uh, slide right at the end so if you look closer you'll notice that that I don't know if you can, hopefully you can tell, there's like a, you know, a few uh, centimeters or <laughs> I'm kind of guessing in the, the game world sizing uh, where it's, you know, just sliding over across the surface a little bit. So I'm not sure if that's due to physics or um, what that might be. Um, so, but I'll try and figure that for, uh, yeah, uh, Oscar, thank you so much for mentioning, he, uh, Oscar mentioned that this is inertia, so yeah, it's something that I need to uh, to look at, and, uh, but as far as, uh, as far as this goes, uh, I think um, this was all that uh, I was uh, planning to, uh, to be able to come up with today. Um, one thing that I do need to, to look into is, when you try, this is a blend space. So, for example, in a blend space, uh, if you press W and D, you know, you kind of go sideways, right? But now that I'm also introducing C as a key press, right, we want to do um, to also be able to go sideways and, you know, forwards into the right. Uh, and that means pressing C, W, and D. And the issue is that it goes into, uh, it's not in crouch mode anymore, it goes into this, um, you know, standing mode. 
So that's something that I'm going to look into, and hopefully for next week um, I'll be able to uh, to have a solution. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Um, again, apologies uh, apologies for the for the delay from the last stream, but um, it's also kind of getting my feet wet with this new um, this new setup for uh, for the templates. All right, so uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this is helpful. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, thanks again, Oscar, for, uh, for, for comments. All right, take care, everyone.